parathyroid surgery, when it's done by an experienced surgeon, has a very high success rate. You know, I think a first time surgery is successful 95 to 98% of the time. But occasionally, even in the most experienced hands, it can be unsuccessful. Because it's unsuccessful doesn't mean that there's no chance it can be cured. What it means is that we just have to go back. We have to confirm that yes, this really is the right diagnosis. We have to make sure that you're gonna benefit from surgery. And then we have to figure out what additional imaging we need to sort of guide our operation. In a first operation, it's not important to have good imaging studies to tell us where to look because we can pretty safely identify all four parathyroid glands and determine which ones are abnormal. With a reoperation, though, I think it's important to have a better idea of where the problem is. And so we may get additional imaging studies, maybe a CT scan or a Sestamibi scan or even an ultrasound. Or in rare cases, we may even get something called selective venous sampling, which is a, a more invasive test to try to tell us where that abnormal parathyroid gland is so that we can effectively find it and treat the condition.